Man versus Gun. Автомат аппаратур. Выше на столько звезды. Hello shooters, Man vs. Gun. This is my go-to AK. That's going to be this episode of uh, Man vs. Gun. It's interesting that, uh, you know, we get a lot of people in the United States crying when you do this to an AK, and that's understandable. I know a lot of guys out there, purists, they like to keep their AKs the way they belong. I like to uh, push the boundaries a little bit and see what can happen to enhance the utility, to enhance the handling characteristics of this, this fine rifle. And it is interesting and noteworthy that the Russian Special Forces, the uh, Spetsnaz and other units over there, they're starting to uh, pop up with guns similar to this. They're starting to kind of catch up, if you will, to what we've been doing to AKs in the United States for a couple decades now. So let's start with the overall weight. The weight of this thing, as you see it, is 7 pounds, 10 ounces. The length from the flash suppressor to the buttstock is 35 and a half inches. The butt plate is a rubber. This is a B5 Bravo stock. I like the B5 Bravo. It's rubber and it's angled. So that's uh, those are two both good things. It, do, it doesn't slip around in your shoulder and it's angled properly to fit better in your in, in your shoulder area. The butt stock is plastic and it is adjustable for length of pull. Three or four or five stops. I don't know. I, I run it all the way forward almost all the time unless I'm in the prone trying to do some accuracy work. Length of pull is 12 and a half inches. Trigger pull on this one, it's a, ja it's a TAPCO G2 trigger. So it's actually, you know, TAPCO makes a really nice AK trigger. There's no, there's no creep, it's pretty light. It's, uh, it's, it's a nice trigger. I would like to try the ALG, but that's, uh, that's a side note. I, I do like the TAPCO G2 because I have them in a couple AKs, they work really well. The pistol grip. This one sports a Magpul pistol grip. Tried the U.S. Palm. Didn't like it so much. I like the uh, the AK pistol grip better. The good news is, is there's a number of uh, pistol grips you can get for the AK now to help enhance the utility and help it feel better for you and your hand. The Magwell is just like an OEM Magwell. Uh, it's non-flared. It's just it is what it is. I tried one of those MFERs or whatever. There's a little plastic Magwell thing you put on there. It didn't work for me at all whatsoever. So I went back to just the way it is there. May work for you, doesn't work for me. Um, the mag release is right here. Works equally well, right or left handed. So uh, no complaints there. The magazines, I with this I use plastic magazines, polymer magazines. Th these, are, uh, these are Polish. They do have steel feed lips and steel locking lugs. There's no steel reinforcement down here. Um, I also have some Circle Tens, and I have some steel mags. Looking forward to getting the new Magpul uh, Gen 2 AK mags that have the steel reinforced lugs. Uh, but all those mags are great for AKs. They all work well, and they're 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 worth getting. Safety on this, I have a shelf that's been uh, welded onto there. Really enhances the utility. Really helps you uh, keep the firing hand on target that, uh, on the on the pistol grip and it's really easy to manipulate. Uh, highly recommended that you get a mag, uh, a, 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 no, a safety such as this. And there's even one that you can get from, and I'll post a link below, I've, I've also gotten them from an outfit in California where you rivet this thing on. Because some people are charging like, you know, 60, 80 bucks for this thing. Not worth 60, 80 bucks to me. Uh, there's, there's cheaper ways to get there. Um, Okay, charging handle. Regular AK charging handle, but I put a piece of uh, automotive gasoline hose or whatever that is. It makes it so it's a little bit grippier, not quite as slick, not quite as sharp. So it makes it easier for me to run the gun. Uh, so I like that little cheap uh, um, little fix there. Uh, ejection of brass is really strong on an AK. It's going to be out there at about 2 o'clock and it launches the brass. So you don't have to worry about shooting right or left handed, brass is never going to get in your face. Rear sight, steel notch, uh, it doesn't have any protection. Um, it is a, a, a adjustable for elevation, but this, you know, this is a 300 meter gun. Uh, the AKM in uh, 7.62 with 39. The, you can hit farther than that, but uh, uh, it's, it's best 300 meters and in. 
The uh, front hand guard is the Zhukov, the Magpul Zhukov. I like it. I have another video about how to install and also uh, my thoughts when doing live fire. And doing live fire for this portion of man versus gun just confirmed my, uh, my like for this, this front hand guard. The front sight is protected. This is a Bulgarian front sight gas block combo that I have installed on here. I like it better than the, um, the bolt-on. Uh, this is adjustable for elevation as well as wind. It's just like if it was out there on the front. I do paint my, front, my sights orange, blaze orange. I don't like them black. For doing strictly target work, black is great. But, uh, but for doing other kinds of things, I like being able to see the front sight there if I need to see it. On the muzzle, we've got a Phantom. I, I really like the Phantom line of uh, flash suppressors. They work really, really well as a flash suppressor. The bottom here is closed to work somewhat as a comp and also to keep uh, the dust signature low when you're firing from the prone. So I, I, I like these. I, I have them on almost all of my go-to guns. Um, the optics. The optic. I, I'm running a... It's not a T1. It's not an H1. It's... The one that was silver that was for a really good price a few years ago, but it's camo, so who gives a rip? And I'm running it on the uh, RS Regulate um, sight mount system here that fits on the com block. Solid, solid, solid choice here. And sling mounts. You can put a sling back here, and there's some um, M lock slots up here where you can put a sling mount. So sling mounts are going to be no issue on this thing either. This thing handles really well. You'll see it during the shooting portion. So, uh, so let's go out and light this up. The rubber buttstock, the enhanced safety, and the Zhukov 4 end sure make it nice for uh, getting off these snapshots. Having a safety just on the right side hurts when you're shooting left-handed, though. Wished it was on both sides, but it is what it is. We learned the workarounds. Doing the uh, Type 1 malfunction clearance drills is fine no issues here with the charging handles on both sides obviously that's really evident when we go to type 3 in the prone but uh, we do workarounds we make it work this is a gun that was developed a long time ago by a nation that doesn't really care a whole lot for ergonomics so it is what it is it started raining too bad I had to put my real cameras away this is just with the helmet mounted camera now and it's waterproof so there's no issues there you can see it's difficult to work uh, type 3 malfunction clearance drills in the prone here. Having to reach underneath or over the top is kind of a pain. And you'll see how easy it is when I get to the left-handed operation there. It's a dream. It's like working the, uh, the FN right-handed. Here we go. See the charging handles right there. Wish it was on both sides, but it's not, so we just do workarounds. Also, I wish the charging handle wasn't reciprocating, because if you don't get your thumb down, uh, that charging handle will whack you in the thumb and you'll know about it. The TAPCO G2 trigger really helps on this uh, 10 rounds and 5 yards. And the, the gun handles really well in 1 to 5. Even with the open sights, the AK open sights are like a handgun. So it, it's really, really, really fast on this drill. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good day.